Omoni Oboli is a film director, a filmmaker, a producer, a scriptwriter, and a Nigerian actress. So in today's video, we'll be talking about Omoni Oboli's biography. Well, before we dive into that, if you're new to this channel and you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly click on the red subscribe button down here and turn on the bell notification to get notified. Anytime I drop new videos, I will really, really appreciate that. Before we talk about Omoni Oboli, let us take a look at 10 quick facts about Omoni Oboli you probably don't know about. Here we go! Let's get into the video. Number 1. Omoni Oboli was born on the 22nd of April 1978 in Benin City, Edo State. Number 2. The actress is from Mosoga, a kingdom in Sapele, Delta State. Number 3. Omoni Oboli has a degree in foreign languages, majoring in French from the University of Benin. And she also has a certificate in digital filmmaking from the New York Film Academy. Number 4. She made an Hollywood debut in 1996 in the film Bitter Encounter. Well, how many of you guys have been uh, giving birth to her at that time? Let me know in the comment section below. Number five, Omoni married her husband, Nnamdi Oboli, in 2000, and they have three sons together. Number six, she's the first Nollywood actress to win the Best Actress Award at the Los Angeles Movie Awards and at the Harlem International Film Festival. Number seven, Omoni Oboli made a notable debut as a director and co-producer in 2014 with the comedy film Being Miss Elliot. Number 8. She also directed the political theme drama Love is War, where she also plays the lead role opposite Richard Mofet Damijo. The film also stars Jide Kosoko. How many of you guys have watched that film? Let me know in the comment section below. Number 9. In 2019, Oboli launched a 3D mink lash collection product line under her beauty company, Ageless by Omoni. Number 10. She founded a charity organization named the Omoni Oboli Foundation in 2012 that aims at taking care of less privileged women and children. Well, let us dive down to her biography right now. The Nigerian actress and director Omoni Oboli was born on the 22nd of April 1978 in Benin City, Edo State. However, thorough research revealed that she is from Mosoga, a kingdom in Sapele, Delta State. She grew up in Delta State as the second and last child of her parents. When Oboli was of school age, she started her primary school education at Delta Steel Company Primary School and went on to the Delta Steel Company Technical High School for her secondary school education. Omoni developed an interest in presenting and acting while still schooling and joined literary and debating and drama clubs. Also, during her primary and secondary school days, Omoni Oboli played part in the writing, directing, producing, and acting of plays for her school's performances. After she completed her secondary school education, she got admission into the prestigious University of Benin, that is Unibern, to study foreign languages. Omoni Oboli graduated from Unibern with a second-class upper degree with a major in French. She later traveled abroad to hone her filmmaking skill at the New York Film Academy. There, she completed a course in digital filmmaking in 2000. As mentioned earlier, unknown to many people, Omoni Oboli made her debut in Hollywood a long time ago. She first acted in the 1996 film Bitter Encounter, where she played the role of a secretary. In the same year, she played a minor role in another film titled Shame. However, she got major roles in three other films that year, including Not My Will. Destined to Die, and Another Campus Tale. Omoni Oboli had seemed on the right track for a successful Hollywood career at that early stage, but she had other plans. It was around this time that she decided to return to school. It took over 10 years for her to return to the screen. Omoni Oboli returned to the Nigeria film industry as part of the cast of the 2009 film Entanglement. While many may not have noticed her because the film was dominated by other big names like Desmond Elliott and Mercy Johnson. That same year, she also played a major role in Kunle Afolayan's award winning film, The Fingering. Omoni Oboli's son, Toby Oboli, also played a memorable part in The Fingering. However, Omoni Oboli made a notable debut as a director and co producer in 2014 with the comedy film Being Mrs. Elliott. Next, she directed The First Lady in 2015, but her earliest most popular film as a director and producer was Wives on Strike. The same year, she also dropped Okafor's Law, which proved to be another massive success. 
Omani Oboli is one of the few celebrities who do not get themselves caught in the web of scandals often. But her record is not completely clean as well. We found that four of the films that she directed and either produced or co-produced were subject to disputes, bordering on the line of intellectual thefts. Jude Idada, an award-winning writer, accused Omani Oboli of stealing a script for use in the 2016 film Okafor's Law. Post also mentions that Idada had also accused her of using his treatment of the 2014 film, being Mrs. Elliot, without contacting or paying him. The case for being Mrs. Elliot did not reach the courts after Obodi Oboli allegedly said she didn't remember receiving Idada's treatment. But the second accusation caused the filmmaker to cancel the initial premiere of the Ukavos Law on 24th of March 2017. Why the courts granted her permission to go ahead and premiere it on 31st of March 2017, the case was only resolved in 2019. Omoni Oboli was declared victorious by the court on 2nd of May, according to a post report. Also, in 2015, her film, The First Lady, was also alleged to have caused some trouble between her and an unnamed woman who had supposedly written the screenplay for Oboli. This time, the case made it to the courts but was settled amicably. There were reports that Oboli had drawn heavily from Spike Lee's 2015 comedy, Chirac, to create her wife's on strike. While this was not a legal case, Oboli had to clear her name. She issued a statement discrediting the reports. She argued that wives on strike had been a concept she conceived a long time ago before she even came across Chirac. Omoni Oboli got married to Unam the Oboli in 2000, immediately after she left the New York Film Academy. The couple has three sons together, but she suffered a miscarriage before she started bearing children. Following the death of late Ibino Ogudalo, Omoni Oboli revealed that she was planning to adopt a daughter with the help of the late beauty queen. Omoni and Namdi Oboli's first son is Toby, and he will be 19 years on the 5th of October 2020. Gozi and Chizi Oboli are respectively the second and third sons of Omoni Oboli. The actress lost her father in 2017, while her mother had died before that time. In an interview with The Cable, Omoni Oboli revealed that she had grown up with a broken home. My mother had two kids. She broke up with my father when we were little. I didn't even know my parents together. I was a baby when they broke up, she said. Talking about the net worth, when we researched what the net worth of Omoni Oboli is, we could not find a verifiable answer. Well, some estimates are net worth to be about 400,000 a year. We find it hard to trust this figure because there was no explanation on how the figure was arrived at. Also, this is 2020, and it's likely that the net worth of Omoni Oboli has changed. We know that she has other sources of income besides her filmmaking and acting career. For instance, in 2019, Oboli launched a 3D mink lash collection product line under a beauty queen company, Ageless by Omoni Oboli. Additionally, she's the brand ambassador of Pedini Nigeria, a company that deals in kitchen equipment and electronics. Well, we know she's rich, but her particular network is not determined. Omoni Oboli is a Nigerian actress that exudes ageless beauty off screen and displays charm and talent while on screen. A early foray into Nollywood followed by nearly a decade higher to shows that she maintained the passion to pursue her dreams, despite taking her foot off the pedal for some time. Most of the films that Omoni Oboli has directed have been massively successful, showing that she knows her onions. A charity organization is also an important lesson in giving back to the community. Well. What do you guys have to say about Omoni Obo? Let me know in the comment section below. Is she one of your favorite actress? Let me know in the comment section below. Yo, this will mark the end of today's video. If you watch this video to this end and um, you're yet to subscribe, please kindly click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then turn on the bell notification to get notified anytime I drop new videos. Well, um, if there are any other suggestions you want me to uh, add to this video, let me know in the comment section below. And if there are all the celebrities you want me to talk about. Let me know in the comment section below also. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe, comment. It will help motivate me to talk more about Nigerian celebrities. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. See you guys for another exciting video in another exciting day. Well, I pray all this will be exciting. I don't know how you are at your hand, but I pray you good.